Hello everyone. Some people may be upset because their father or mother were not active in their lives. And let me say it straight. With some people, that may have not been a bad thing. You may ask me, Uncle Kev, what do you mean by that? Okay. There are some bad parents who stuck around their children. Okay. Look at the harm they have done to their children. If someone is really honest with you, they may tell you that their mother was a particular way, that she did this and she did that, or the father did this and that, so on and so on. That makes me think it would probably been better for that child to be raised by a different family. I believe in many cases, your real parents are probably not the best parents for you. Just because you came out from this woman and another man and a man helped, it doesn't mean like you came from them, right? It doesn't mean that they are good to teach you about life. They are good to, uh, it doesn't mean they are good and influencing you the right way. Some people may be depressed or very heartbroken because a particular parent was not in their life. And I guess I can understand why you are sad, but depending on who the parent is, it is probably a good thing that parent was not in your life. Because mentally, that individual is probably not stable to um, look after you, to take care of your needs, and to show you love, attention, and stuff like that. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? Yes, Johnny was raised by both parents. Susie, both parents. Jeanette, both parents. Uh, Brittany, both parents. And you may look at yourself only one parent. Who really cares? As long as that one parent was treating you correctly, I think that is what is important. Some people may say that they never knew their dad. Okay, let me say this. What if you knew or what if your dad was a monster or is a monster? Someone very mean, rude, hateful, spiteful, manipulative, steals a lot, lies a lot, and do so many other bad things. Are you telling me you would be okay with that person being in your life? Be honest. Now, if you say yes, you know, as a child, you don't really know too much. So 
you probably would say yes as a child. But as an adult, you will probably say, hey, it is probably a good thing that father was not in your life. I am trying to tell you there are parents who really messes up their children. Like I have heard stories, stories. So don't walk around in hatred because your father was not in your life. Your mother was not in your life. Like I have hate for men because you know, my daddy never took care of me or I have hate for women because, you know, my mother was not there or gave me away to a different family member and stuff like that. Look, there are very messed up people. If your grandmother raised you up very well, and let's say your mother is a drug addict or someone who is mentally unstable or both think about it wasn't it a good idea that your grandmother raised you think about that Yes, I know as a child, you wanted both parents, blah, 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 blah. But you were fortunate enough to be raised by a stable person. Yes, it was not your father. Yes, it was not your mother. But... In a case like that, it doesn't have to be your parent. Apparently, your parents were not in a stable space. Whether it is mentally, physically, or whatever else. So stop having that complex that your parents did not want you. Yes, I know from the outside view, yes, that may hurt. But you, if it is possible, which it may not be in some cases, but there are some parents who are very bad parents. Right now, you may say, even if my parents had this disorder, that disorder, I don't care. I wish they were there. And I don't think you know what you are talking about. The thing you should do, if it be possible, go to groups or go around people that have or had bad parents and speak with them i believe in many cases your real parents are not very good for you you know this may sound very strange to hear but it is true as time passes by i notice that to be more and more true I think some people have very, very good caretakers or whatever it is called, uh, foster parents or caretakers. I don't know what the real name is, but some people are still like upset or whatever because they were not raised by their real parents. Even though you know some of the truth of why your real parents gave you away. You probably know that your real parents gave you away or your mother gave you away 
because she was on drugs, she was uh, an addict. Your dad was this. Your dad was that. Why would you want those people to raise you? Honestly. So if you was raised by your uncle, grandmother, another family, foster parents, caretaker, or whatever it is called, if they did a good job, those people, in a sense, I guess, see them as your real parent, real parents. Let's say I have a child. The way I was when I was 21, I would probably be a bad parent. The way I am now is so different than how I was when I was 21. So it is a very good thing, as far as I know, I did not have any children when I was 21. Because surely, I probably would have not raised that child correctly, honestly. I think so. There are some people who are having children now. People with very bad personalities. People with behavior disorders and stuff like that, so on and so on. If that parent chose not to be in your life, I believe in many cases, that is a good thing. If you were raised by a stable person other than your real bad parent, I think that is a good thing, right? It doesn't matter that woman or man is not your real parent. Appreciate them. Don't be ignorant and say ignorant things to them like you are not my mama, you ain't my daddy. If they are, if they are taking care of you in a good way, appreciate them. Treat them like your real parent. I really hope this makes sense. And um, a thought came to my mind, and this is kind of not so related, kind of related to what I am saying. A thought came to my mind pretty much about me mentoring, I don't know how, <laughs> mentoring young boys, I guess teens, um... I don't know how low, maybe five years old and up. I don't know too much about children. Let's say around like, I don't know, eight and up. Eight years old and up. You know, teaching boys how to be, you know, how to uh, do this and that, how to think how to behave, not to get into that, you know, sagging pants and and getting a whole bunch of tattoos all over your body and stuff like that. More, you know, stuff like that. Because I believe if you don't, I believe some children are not really taught well. They may not know the direction they should go because apparently some parents are not really teaching them. Like the parent 
may be more interested in her phone more than the child. So the child may become influenced by uh, these uh, rap artists. Yeah, that's pretty much what came to my mind. Teaching boys the proper way to be. Not, not so much to say how to be a man per se, but how to be a man of God, yes. How to be a man of God. Not so much a man in the world's view of what they think how a man should be, no. How to be a male of God. But let me stop here. May God bless us.